Hello, everyone. I have a very special message I'd like to share with you today. You've seen my podcast with Giles Hutchins probably a few times, and I've also been on his podcast. As you know, Giles Hutchins is a coach and author on regenerative practices on consciousness. Giles has uh, been my friend for a while, and he's been on several of my podcasts. And um, I I had an experience with him that I, I want to share and discuss with you. So I'm coming to you live from my studio. So you see my background, my wood wood background, and you you've probably even seen the podcasts that I've done with Giles, or where I talk about his book uh, Leading by Nature, which I've got here, and and uh, his latest book Nature Nature Work is here, and then I also did Regenerative Leadership, where I interviewed. Laura Storm and him as well. And when you see the images of Giles on the podcast, you see him kind of in this office office setting. But what you don't see is that right in front of that office setting is a big huge window and it looks out to his farm, the Springwood farm and also the ancient woodlands of Springwood. It's an area that is not too close uh, from Gatwick Airport in the United Kingdom. It's probably about 20 minutes away uh, out, in, out in the countryside. And this 50 acre, acres of ancient woodlands is uh, totally locked in. And it's kind of a very tranquil, tranquil place. And so the reason I'm, I'm doing this message is because a lot of people don't realize or see that. So I'm going to do a post. And I'm going to include some of the photos that were taken there and some photos that were done by a professional photographer as well. There as some videos, which I want to caveat right, right in advance. They don't do it justice. So ma many times before um, I went and visited Giles at the um, ancient woodlands and of Springwood. Uh, he would he would talk about it. He would ask me to come. He would talk to to me about forest bathing and swimming in in his lake and and uh, the experience that that you could have there. I've been working in regeneration and and with sustainability and regenerative practices for a long time. And I know the power of place. I know the power of ancient places i know the power of new places i know the power of 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 farms and um have seen many many beautiful places in uh, my travels and practices of what i do in some respects i'm i'm doing this video because i want to uh, let you know through the images that you see and the experience that I had with Giles uh, and, and another group of people, we were there celebrating the launch of, of Giles' fifth book, Nature Works. It's a, a book that focuses on regenerative consciousness. It's a fabulous book, a great read with lots of tools, tips, and tricks in the book. But there's a lot of things that are in the book that talk about the practices and the practices that you can do in nature and how uh, you can actually physically and emotionally and innerly see how nature works. Giles has done an amazing feat. He has created a place that uh, is very ancient and already existed, but he's nurtured it and he's regenerated it and he's combined himself with the natural world around him in a very regenerative process to restore, to heal, to make the microcosmos there flourish and create an environment that is conducive to life to thrive and flourish amid ever-changing life conditions. And that is the true definition of regeneration. 
uh, uh, can, comes from Janine Benes, who uh, is of the Biomimicry Institute, who initially coined that phrase, but it's been around. Regeneration has been around for over 3.8 billion years. And Giles has found a way and done his magic and coaching and his uh, ability to create a space that is beautiful for all. There are many different locations on the Springwood Farm um, with different types of trees where there's openings in the middle of the forest where you can be surrounded by different sunspots, by different centers uh, where some magical things happen. And Giles takes you through experience of forest bathing, of reflection, of uh, theory U processes, of presencing into the future, of letting go, of doing all, all different types of things that are just magical, where you forget about the troubles of the outside world, where you can do many things uh, in, in this beautiful location. The other, the other reason is uh, uh, why you don't know what, what it looks like on the other side of JAL's computer um, when I've done these podcasts or, or, or anything else, you can see on his website some videos that he shot of, of uh, his farm in the ancient Springwoods. But it doesn't do it justice. And the other reason is, is because it's a place of digital detox. It's a place that we want to dis disconnect from technology uh, uh, and actually dive deep into nature, to connect with nature, to connect with ourselves, to connect with our inner development as well as that power of place. So um, Jenny is a good friend of mine. She has a course called The Power of Place, and she does a lot on The Power of Place, and, and, and I do as well. There's a lot going on when you have that powerful place. As you all know, I travel a lot. Every week I'm in another location, and what I've tended to master is taking the power of place, which is within me. I have a very strong center and a power of place within my body. And as I travel around the world to very hectic, large cities, as well as to ranches and farms and, and ancient woodlands, that I try to bring that power of place with me uh, so that I'm not saying, oh, what time is it at home? You know, it's, oh, it's five in the morning or it's 10 at night or one in the morning or uh, I wonder what they're doing back at home that I have a, a way to be centered and grounded and absorb that because a lot of that inner development and a lot of that power of place I take with me because a lot of that is within me. But there's a transition that we all need to reconnect with nature, to understand how nature works, to understand that balance and the processes, the many processes of complex systems, the way the microcosmos works, the way symbiosis works, the way these things can be seen live in nature that can then also not only be applied to us personally in our own inner development, our own lives, our emotions, our, our, our feelings, and help us physically to heal and to be better, but also then to see how we can apply those to our business models and how that interaction works um, in the real world, applying them to our organizations to create some different models that are much more regenerative and processes. And Giles does this for many uh, large and wonderful uh, organizations. And we were uh, also at the ancient uh, uh, woodlands of Spring, Springwood um, with uh, Vivo Barefoot. And Galahad is the uh, founder of, of Vivo Barefoot, and he was there as well. He also wrote some sections and, and pieces in Nature Works and um, has done a lot of work over the years with Giles and sends his people to the ancient uh, woodlands of Springwood to get coached by Giles and to experience this power of place and to experience how to apply regeneration and to have these moments of awe and inspiration to get that. I want to tell you, and this is not a bad thing, 
uh, Vivo Barefoot has now found their own power of place, their own um, place where they can actually be in touch with, with nature. And so it's this next phase of how they're moving on and creating this place um, because you don't necessarily always need to go to some specific place to have that aha moment to connect with nature to figure out the the models of that but it is really a pivotal moment to make that connection from our separation or this mechanization or the siloed view of the world to being connected with nature and the world all around us no matter where we're at and so many people need to get the tools and the understanding and make that transition which occurs at the ancient uh, woodlands of Springwood. Now there's other places around the world and uh, to go and do this, not many, I have to say, um, but Giles has really done it top notch. It, it's a beautiful space. It has the right type of energy. It has the right type of uh, mix of everything. And you can really get a deep dive into um, forest bathing into the processes of regeneration and i highly recommend it for everyone i hope in some respects even though i don't do it justice that you will feel what a healing moment this was for me to be there with giles what the interactions we had and and other projects we will be working on in the future uh, to benefit benefit you and to bring regeneration and those processes more to the world I just wanted to caveat that before I show you the images and kind of give you the feeling in the posts that I will make uh, about this beautiful place. And I want to shout out to to Giles and give him my love and thanks and gratitude for for making sure that I came and uh, taking the time always to share with me his uh, his books and his processes so that I can then share with you all who who watch it and uh, these podcasts and listen to uh, some of the things that I post because they're so vital. And uh, this awakening of consciousness is occurring all over the world. There's, uh, a, a, and it's, it's been going on for a long time. I feel it stronger than ever in the turmoil and this strong balance that we're in now, this yin and yang, where that's, the world is about as bad as it can get. But at the same moment, there's so many beautiful, wonderful things emerging. This awakening is emerging where we're seeing new models, how the world has always worked, and we should really transition to them to bring things back into a more um, harmonious balance moving forward to better business models. And so I will continue this work and I'll continue to share the stories of of uh, my travels and speaking engagements, but please look forward to more. And I just want you to know there is a whole background of Giles' works, books, and and um, besides his podcast that just the the normal viewer and listener or even reader probably wouldn't feel or get until they actually experience some something like that. So I would like to to. Uh, invite you to get in touch with Giles and, and look at his website and, and see if you can coordinate a time to go to the to the ancient woodlands of Springwood, spend time with Giles to see those processes um, and how that would work for you and your organization, your life, and improve those things. Again, thanks a much bunch, Giles. Uh, I love you, brother, and I'm so excited glad that you're letting me share this with my audience and, and the people around the world. Uh, what beauty you have there. It's seriously life-changing and a beautiful experience. And it reminds me a lot of my childhood growing up with uh, my family going camping and being in the woods, being connected to nature. And uh, a lot of those, those wonderful memories bubbled up and, and, uh, You've tapped into that uh, core of what the operating system is, uh, the eternal universal operating system is for all of us. And I'm, I'm glad that uh, people like you exist.